Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory. 268th episode, I think this is. And we've got a first. And I do mean a first. Today, everybody, we pulled a Bradley Beal. We didn't just pull any old Bradley Beal. As you can probably tell, we pulled the first one. We got the very first one up on the PlayStation Marketplace. And that feels good. Out of all the packs this year, we've never had the first card up that's been like the top tier. So we might have pulled like, out of the packs today, the first Opal or the first Pink Diamond. We'd never pulled the first Dark Matter. But today that changed. Bradley Beal came through. Look at that smile on his face. He was a happy boy. I was a happy boy. And we're going to cash him in today. And it is glorious. You guys know the first card sell for a stupid amount. The first Andrew Wiggins today, 500k. 500k for the first Andrew Wiggins. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a ballpark of where we might be. So at 1.7 million MT right now, it's safe to say we're going to be over 2 million MT. And of course, we have sold the two Dark Matter Stephs that we had yesterday, so they're both gone. We have got two Flash 9 packs that we've pulled from Triple Threat Online. We did a few boards today. Um, we've got a Diamond Shoe pack from completing the Step 1 challenges for Blake Griffin. So all ready for whenever Step 2 comes out, which will most likely be this Friday. And of course, we did get some new Rewind cards out today alongside Bradley Beal. Uh, got the Brogdon there as well. Obviously, some Opals and some Pink Diamonds. But I'm actually not going to be doing the Rewind challenges anymore. Now, we did do a few more today. We finished up a couple that I wanted to do. Uh, Rashawn Holmes, I did not want to do. But we've got him. Robert Williams, arguably the best one out there. We've got Josh Hart as well. So we've got nine of these cards right now. And I think that's where we're going to end it. I don't think we're going to go any further. And I'm going to give you guys my reasoning for that in this video. So let's jump into it. I do have my live reaction to the pack pull of Bradley Bill. So if you weren't in the stream earlier, facebook.com slash jdcrossover for the daily streams where we open packs literally on a daily basis. Uh, but yeah, if you weren't in that stream, don't worry. The live reaction is coming in this video. So let's jump into it. If you're new to the stream, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for the daily videos. And a huge thank you to the goats of the channel for their support. Eric Jays and Cody Speaker Caleb. Liam, just Kieran. And Trevor. So, XP, beyond level 40, we ready. We ready. Step one is done. The season eight rerun players, they're about 20,000 MT now. Not that bad. So, 60,000 MT you need to outlay to be able to buy all three. Then you can sell two back straight away. So then you've only got 20k left. Uh, and obviously, you've got to keep one card to do five games. And that was relatively straightforward. So it comes down to now these ones here, Malik Monk, Jakob Pertl, Toscano, the new ones, uh, Gafford and Sumner. Gafford is so bad, 70 mid-range, 33 ball, no playmaking badges, no shooting badges. It's just it's just an embarrassing, it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute stinker. 23 Hall of Fame badges, one gold. This man has got a combined 24 total badges. Like, I don't even know what 2K are doing these days. And then as for Jakob Pertl, we've got two blocks. I can't be bothered to get the blocks and no blocks for the Hornets. Can't be bothered to get the blocks. So we're going to die there. Now, the reason for that is if these V1 cards are needed for something, which let's just say they are. Let's say step two for Blake says use X amount of players in a X amount of season V1 reward players in a challenge. Realistically, how many do I think they're going to add in as a challenge. So at any given point, there's always six players attainable because we get a pack on Tuesday, we get a pack on Thursday. So at any one given time, there's always six cards that are available. So if we go off that basis and the fact that 2K would make it fair and attainable for everybody, which is debatable, but let's just say they make it fair, the maximum players you'd have to use would be six. Now, would they say use six players in a full 13v13, 5v5 game? Um, I don't know. Is it more likely that they just say use three in a game of triple that offline? I can definitely see that. So if they do say, you know, use six in a full game, we're fine. If they say use three in a triple that offline game, we're fine. If they say you've got to use a full 13-man lineup of season rewind cards, they just can't do that at this point because it's physically not possible for people to be able to get that money, I don't think. Or maybe it is, but I don't think it would be. With so many having already expired, well, I guess it would be, but... It would not be easy, and a lot of people would be very unhappy. So surely they won't do that, and surely they can see by the analytics of how many people are actually completing these sets, which is minimal at best. So I've got nine. I've got a good base. If they do make some challenges, I'm in a good position. If I do need a few more, then I can grind them out. But for the time being, I just don't think it's going to be worth it. And the only other reason I was getting them was for the card collector level, and we'll talk a little bit about that as well 
in a second. As for the new XP that came through today, another 1,000 for the pink diamonds, 1,500 for the opals, and 2,500 for the dark matters. To put it offline, 1,555 wins now done and in our under our belt. And then for triple the online, we were like one, we were like two and two, I think. We got up to three and three. We reset and then we did a full board. Where we went nine and one. So I went three and three and three, and then I went nine and one because 2k. Uh, and on the final T3 boards, we got five tokens twice and a diamond consumers pack. And of course, we didn't get the diamond consumers pack at all. Uh, but on T2 boards, we did get the flash nine pack. And as you guys saw, we got the flash nine pack twice, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and open these up. We'll open up the diamond shoe pack first because. I, I have such low expectations of a diamond shoe pack. You just know it's going to be an utter stinker. Uh, let's get rid of those cards. You just know it's going to be a Jordan shoe that's worth like a thousand MT. In before a Kobe 6 shoe. Please be a Kobe 6. I think they're still very expensive. And it's going to be a Kobe 6. <laughs> really? Really? That's how you're going to do me? It's Kobe 6. But it ain't the Grinch. It's not bad though. It's still a three point Kobe six shoe. I mean, that's not awful, but that is hilarious. Right, Flash Nine packs. Paul George is on the packs. No, Paul George is not in these packs. Well, we've had one Dark Matter pool today. Are we going to go back to back? No, we can't go back to back. That would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. Wouldn't it? No, it would be ridiculous. No shakes out of two Flash Nine packs. It is what it is. But of course, we did get a shake today, everybody. So these brand new Rewind Packs came out, and they are 15,750 MT. 31% chance at an, uh, a shake. Well, it doesn't matter, imagine, at a shake. Now, originally, as soon as these packs dropped, you know, I was standing here refreshing these, or sitting here refreshing these, I didn't actually see the additional Dark Matters that went into this. So we knew Wiggins was in here, we knew Brogdon was in here, and we knew Bradley Beal was in here. But I didn't actually check to see who the other ones were. So the other ones are Jameson, PG, Wilt, and Steph. So I saw this Dark Matter glow, and then in that split second, I was like, oh shit, I, I don't even know who else this could be. I don't even know what number I'm looking for. And then uh, this number popped up on screen. So let's run everybody. Here is my first in the world Dark Matter Bradley Beal pull. Big pain, man. You see a shake, you don't expect it to be a diamond card. Hurry up. Right, pack two. 15,000. What was 16,000 MT per? 16,000 MT. Oof. Nothing on the second one. Great. Grand. Fantastic. We're going to do five because these are so expensive. I don't like doing many of them. Even five is like 80,000 MT. 80,000 MT, like, it kind of sucks. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Let's go! Come on! Let's go, we're not going to celebrate, we're just going to see who it is, because we're going to get him gone A sap. There are other uh, other Dark Matters in here, aren't there? Oh no, that is number three, that is going to be Bradley Beal! It is a brand new, a Bradley Beal! Let's get it! Can that be the first one up in the auction house? I don't know, can that be the first one? Let's go, finally! We get a Dark Matter out of the Rewind Packs. Bradley Beal, get gone, bro. Get gone. That was pulled inside one minute. So are we the first one up? Let's take a look. We should be in the top three, but we're not. We're number one. Number one, let's go. Come on, first Bradley Beal up. How much is that going to sell for? I don't know, but hopefully a lot. Let's get it. Opening packs first is the wave. Opening up packs ASAP is the wave. Hey, screw it. Let's see if we can do another one. Jeez. Fantastic. Ooh, feels good. I was just on a flip all. I didn't even give it time to think about what it was. I didn't get to admire the glow, which kind of sucks because I did want to see that glow. I want to see that little shaky shake a little bit more, but we take it. All right, fifth and final pack right now. And it is going to be bruh, another di another diamond card. So the first Bradley Bill. So as you can see, that was absolutely awesome. Now I did go on to open quite a few more packs. We actually opened up 10 packs today. We got a few more shakes, but they were only diamonds. So we got all three of these cards here. So we got four shakes out of 10 packs. One John Wall, one Clay, one Eric Pascal, and then obviously one Dark Matter Bradley Bill, who was obviously the money maker. So 157,000 MT spent today. But as I mentioned, as you can probably see by my smile, we made a little bit more than that back on Bradley Bill. Right now, he's rocking in at about 200,000 MT, but you guys already know. The first card 
hits different. I'm yet to experience it. I've experienced it today, and I can say I'm very happy. Let's do it. 407,000 MT. 400? Oh my god. Let's cash in some of these things. Here's our rewind players. Dumboya, MCW, and Mo Harkless. The two Stephs that we pulled from Triple Online. 70k apiece. You'll love to see it. That's 1.87 million MT. And then 400,000 MT on Bradley Wheel. Absolutely glorious. 2.2 million MT. And I've also started selling a few cards. So there's plenty more MT to come here. We'll talk about this in just a second. And this is going to put us closer to 2.3 million MT. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Obviously, idols packs are coming tomorrow. So chances are that MT is going to go down because we're going to be opening up... Oh, I don't even know how many packs. I think we did 10 packs last week to get Embiid. Depending on who the card is tomorrow, we might even do more than 10 just because I think we can afford it. Just because why the hell not? You can see here I've got 10 things up for auction. You might be thinking, well, what are you doing? I thought you were collecting cards for JT. I think we're going to deviate off that path. I think we're now going to make the uh, business decision that it ain't worth it. Now, I'm going to do a full video breaking down Jason Tatum, probably on Thursday. Cause tomorrow is going to be this new idol set, so I'm going to want to talk about that. So I'm probably going to talk about it in full, in depth on Thursday. But as of right now, I've just come to the realisation... Well, not just sitting here right now, but over the last day or so, we've come to a realisation that Jason Tatum is not going to be worth it. Only, well, I was at 3,530 cards at my peak. <laughs> at my peak, I was at 3,535, I think. 3,535 cards. Still over 450 cards away from Jason Tatum. Over 450 cards. And we did the maths. And if I, at that point, bought Every single card in this game that isn't a dark matter, because obviously I wouldn't be able to afford those. Every single game that kind of game that isn't a dark matter, including you know the remaining coaches that I need, the remaining jerseys that I needed, and the remaining few series three cards I didn't have at the time, I would have only been on three thousand seven hundred and fifty cards. If I had every single card in the game except for dark matters, I'd still be two hundred and fifty cards away. That's that's not good. That's really really not good. So. Yeah, business decision. I think we're going to leave JT where he is for the time being. Like I said, we'll do talk more about that uh, throughout the week. As for this Anton Jameson, I am loving this card so damn much. He's in the super packs that came out today, or the rewind packs that came out today. I think they're super packs because they're so damn expensive. And I am looking for one to buy. I am looking for a better one than I've got. So my one's got Hoff Dead Eye on it. It's got 57 Hoff badges with Hoff Dead Eye being the additional one. He's not even selling for 100k right now. That's criminal. Buy Anton Jameson if you don't have him, everybody. He's fantastic. But I do want to get one with Hoff Flexible. They come up every now and then. You get one with Dead Eye and Flexible, which is really damn nice. So I do want to upgrade this Anton Jameson because my trip with the online trio for the time being has been Danny Ferry, Luca, and Anton Jameson. And he's just brilliant. He's absolutely exceptional. As for the Rewind cards that dropped today, let's have a look at them down here. So the pink diamonds that we had were Nico Mannion, who is selling for 16, well, probably about 20k. Six foot two, six three wingspan, so a little bit undersized. 85 driving dunk, but looks like a fast card, a fun card. 43 Hoff badges, why not? O'Shea Brissett coming through, about 20k ish as well. 44 Hoff badges on him, 6 7 at the powerful position, with not the best driving, pretty average driving. 88 layup, 85 for the driving dunk, pretty average, so. Nothing crazy going on with him. We then move over to... Uh, not MCW, you've already been out. Robin Lopez, because why wouldn't Robin Lopez have have gold range extender? Am I right? Why wouldn't Robin Lopez have an 88-3? But he does. But again, driving in there, 87 driving layup, 85 driving dunk. Eh, 89 speed acceleration, 89 lateral. Very, very mid card. Very, very average card. So nothing to write home about in terms of him. Davis Pants. Now these packs today are stupid. The odds on these packs... The big stupid. Look at the price of Davis Batons. Look at the price of an Opal card. 70,000. And it ain't because he's incredible. 70,000 MT. 88 layup. 85 dunk. Again, just average. Defense, average. Boards, average. Speed, pretty average. Average card. 70,000 MT. Jordan Paul. 70,000. 80,000 MT. What is wrong with these packs, man? I think we got so lucky getting that Bradley Bill, but he's actually a lot better. 92 layup, 90 dunk, better. 93 three, better. Good uh, defense. And some good speed with 46 Hall of Fame badges. That is more like it. And then Doug McBucket's definitely the cheapest out of the three. His first card this year 
that's not a power forward, small forward, small forward shooting guard, six foot eight, same as uh, not same as Jimmy, a little bit shorter than Jimmy. But it's what you'd expect from a, a Doug, McBuck, Doug, Doug McDermott, Doug McBuckets card, bruh, words. 85 layup, 80 dunk, so straight away, you can get much better than that out there. Very average defense, no boards, and uh, yeah, he's a great shooter, but that, that's about it. That's about it. And then as for the uh, Dark Matter cards, we'll come to Bradley Beal last, because he's my guy. He's my guy after today. 6'5 Bradley, 6'5 <laughs> Malcolm Brogdon. That's got a shoe on it. Let's have a look at this one that doesn't. 94 layup, only the 85 dunk, but great shooting, great passing, great defense, and good speed. That's a very solid card. Andrew Wiggins coming through. Um, and comparing him to Jimmy Butler, he is Jimmy Butler. Uh, Jimmy Butler is Andrew Wiggins. Look at these cards. They're pretty much identical. Jimmy Butler with better interior defense. Andrew Wiggins with better dunking. About it. And then 51 half badges to 48. So if you don't have Jimmy Butler, you've got a, a replacement there in uh, Andrew Wiggins. And as for Briley Bill, the card that we had the first in the goddamn world. Feels so good. Uh, he's grown two inches. He was 6'3", he is now 6'5", which contributed to his price. If he was still 6'3", there's no way he would have sold for this much, but he didn't, which is glorious. 99'3", 95 dunk, 97 layup, much better. 94 perimeter defense, 95 speed, acceleration. Every shooting badge in the game, Hall of Fame, obviously including Steady, 53 in total. And he sold for 400k. And RMT is looking so healthy right now, I can't even believe it. So that is going to do it for me today, everybody. Another Dark Matter pull for the year. You just love to see it. I don't know how many that is now. I think it's like eight, maybe. Ah, <sighs> feels good. So we'll be back at it again tomorrow for new idols packs. I don't know who it's gonna be, but I hope it's gonna be somebody good because right now these idol sets are hitting. Kawhi still at 500k. Embiid earlier on was 500k. He's about 400k right now. He was 500k earlier on. So who are we gonna get tomorrow? I don't know, but it should be exciting. So that's gonna do it from me today, everybody. Hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.